Uh, here we have a first look at a Pioneer CT-F950 stereo cassette tape deck. It looks to be a quite a fancy machine and uh, the little bit of history I've found out is that it's the uh, upmarket version of the 900 but they uh, they changed from some sort of hard metal head to uh, a glass head and this glass head used in the 950 was also used on the 1000 and 1250 models which are uh, an up, up, uh, update again uh, from this one. Apparently the even though the glass heads are harder they can be a little bit more unreliable um, due to cracking of the uh, the glass on uh, across the head and in and in that sense the actual uh, ones in the previous models 900 and uh, I think maybe I don't know the models very well but 850 or something but it's it, certainly the 900 and one or two others but uh, provided the the head is uh, fine then it's a really nice machine and we shall see uh, what we shall see. Before I turn it on, though, I'm going to put a bit of hot glue on the parts of the mains that's uh, open to me. I, I, I could put a bit of tape around it, but I'll, I'll just put a bit of hot glue instead. Uh, when it heats up. Actually, there's a bit more mains just here. I mean, that's right on the mains coming in. I'd, I'd normally use some silicone, but I haven't got any at the moment. It's hard to go out shopping at the moment with uh, all the shops shut. It's really hard. Even the supermarket, I, I didn't see any down there. I go supermarket shopping about once a week. So I've got some super glue and some Tarzan's grip for uh, doing a couple of things. But uh, I must admit, I forgot about getting some silicone. A uh, job I've got to do. The uh, pad inside the cassette case has uh, come adrift. And this one here doesn't have a pad at all, so I'm going to pinch it from this uh, donor cassette case. So a couple of pads to glue. Now back to the Pioneer. Well, Apparently this resistor here gets very hot, very hot, but it is a uh, 7 watt resistor, so I would expect it to get warm, you can tell the way it's mounted that it's meant to be warm, but how warm is warm? I'm obviously not going to touch it with my finger, it'll be uh, burn territory 
the aim with uh, electronics is to not have anything go over above 60 degrees C. Over that, uh, it uh, you have to have warnings and uh, likewise, you know, it's all CE stuff again, all the uh, CE compliance things. But uh, speaking of 60, also the other one is, I think it's around about 60 volts. Anything over 60 volts DC is uh, is claimed to be uh, uh, dangerous and requires uh, secondary insulation, double insulation. Yeah, the list goes on. Well, I'm not sure when I'm going to turn this on. I, I suppose I'll I'll have to. But anyway, have a look around the, at the front first off. It's quite a fancy machine. Sort of front loading mechanism with a little trap door there, dust cover, and uh, you place the cassette in there. Very cute. What was it? I just noticed the pinch rollers there. They're quite small. They're probably only about 10 millimetres. All the other ones I have are about 13. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's another thing uh, with uh, CE is you, you have to support the wires, the mains wires from the thing is if one came loose it's not meant to be able to fly free mm. not too keen on the way this is I might have to wait until I can take that board out and try and secure that more properly try and see what the current is meant to be through this uh, large resistor Looks to be like a, a power and, and control board. Actually, this might be uh, more to do with the motor control. Most of the wires go up to the motor assembly. Oh, a few wires are, are not uh, routed the way I would have done them. When you take away the mechanism, you you don't want to be taking away other stuff. Yeah, there's a couple of wires here that uh, are meant to be in the other loom. Alright, now we're a little bit better. So, the wires that go to the, the mechanism are basically two connectors. This large one here and a little two pin one going up to one of the front panels. Sorry, three pin. So that means this can be removed. Okay, we're about to turn it on for the first time uh, for me. Put a tape in, usual Merle Haggard, and uh, see what happens. As far as I know, the only fault is this resistor getting super warm. So I'm going to put a multimeter across it and see what it's meant to be doing. One side of the resistor goes to the uh, pinch roller solenoid I think and the other side is to a uh, soft start circuitry so hopefully this will tell us what the soft start is doing if anything. Well actually not so much soft start but I take that back it's uh, it's a basically a hard start because the idea is that you short the series resistor to the solenoid when you first turn it on to give it punch and then when it's uh, latched in you switch out the transistor and and uh, just leave the resistor in series to reduce the current through the solenoid 
So anyway, let's see what happens. Okay, doing another final check on everything. Okay, she's lighting up. Oh, very pretty. I did hear a... a let's press play. Oh, we've got five and a half volts across the resistor. Uh, oh yeah, that, that that should be about right. It's a 13 and a half. It's about a 13 and a half volt rail, so that leaves about what is it, eight eight volts on the solenoid, controller solenoid. Yeah. I just redid my calculations and uh, I, I made a stupid mistake. I don't know how, but I should have done it in my head. <laughs> but that uh, 7.5 ohm resistor in series with a solenoid, I thought it was drawing 10 watts and, and the resistor is rated for 7, but no, it's, it's only uh, dissipating 4 watts. Oh, 4 watts, that's all. So that's... Uh, that's uh, just over 50% of its rating, so that's fine. Well, this seems very nice. Yeah, that works. That works. Ah, oh, okay. Very cute. Well, at the moment, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, this is some Deborah Harry, which uh, you probably won't hear on YouTube, but I will. Yes, now we Okay. Yeah, got some flickering on the uh, LED lights. 